good morning and we are from SVS embedded the project title name is called intelligent automatic vehicle accident detection system using GPRS so in this project I am using an 889s52 microcontroller it's an 8-bit microcontroller so in this project I am using an MEMS sensor AD uh, MMA 7361 accelerometer sensor it's an 3 axis accelerometer sensor I am giving the MCP3208 ADC successive approximation 12-bit ADC and via SPI protocol I am sending the data and here I am using an 16 cross 2 LCD display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD so now here I am using a GPRS modem GPRS module SIM 900 so I am enabling the GPRS settings no need to use the GPS module so now the modules are coming with the uh, location modules so here uh, max 232 IC and one if the accident is minor accident if you press the switch the loop will come back ok switch button LED 1 and LED 2 these are called the indicators called headlights and here I am using driver IC 1 and driver IC 2 one is for the engine and another one is for the alarm so here uh, I am using a step down transformer power supply or adapter I am using so I am getting the output from one using two mobile phones one for the police station and one for the parents and these are the data description project and these are the components yeah this is my hardware unit in this project I am using an 8810S5 to microcontroller 40 pin IC total 4 ports port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 port 0 is connected to the 16 cross 2 LCD display character LCD display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD now port 1 I am connected uh, two transistors those are BC547 transistor NPN transistors mainly for the high current purpose I am using one is for the DC motor and one is for the buzzer if normal the engine should be on the buzzer should be off port 3.0 and port 3.1 it is connected to the max 232 and the max 232 so it is connected to the GSM modem I am using the GPRS modem so now here we wrote the code GPRS settings and it is continuously sending and initializing the settings once the settings is ok must ensure you have to recharge the card with the uh, internet balance no need to use the GPS modules ok directly the output will come in the form of latitude and longitude and we will see the output onto our phones using google maps directly it will gives the link where exactly the accident is occurred so I will show the ok one is for the parent another one is the ambulance by police station so here I used one uh, MEMS sensor that is MMA7361 accelerometer sensor uh, it is giving the output in the form of ADC so it has to be connected to the MCP3208 ADC the ADC it is an SPA protocol ADC the data it should be connected to the port to 2.4567 4 pin means master in master out slave and clock here one button is there if an accident is minor accident the driver or the anyone so I am ok you need to press the switch it is showing the LCD I am ok if the accident is a major accident he unable to press the switch he, the modem will send the SMS to the these two mobile numbers <coughs> and here two LEDs are there those are also connected to the 2.1 and 2.2 these are called as a indicators called headlights ok so I am uh, taking the adapter power source you can use transformer power source also not a problem bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator LED I am getting 5 volts output so all the components are working under 5 volts 
except it is working under 3.3 but i am giving the input voltage of 5 volts here one regulator is present that is lm3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator it is giving the input to the mma7361 of 3.3 volts only working 3.3 we are taking the uh, source from 3.3 but the adc is giving the output in the form of voltage to the microcontroller now i am going to start the output yeah i am giving the power source intelligent automatic vehicle accident detection detection yeah i am removing the power source okay using gprs here i am using the gps module okay wait for 2 seconds wait for 2 seconds it is enabling the gprs settings to the modem once modem will uh, recognize the settings GPRS is ready now it is entered into the X coordinate and Y coordinate engine is on buzzer is off normal 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 ok now so now uh, let us uh, write accident ok these two LEDs are on. Okay. Are you okay? Press the switch. It is giving 30, 30 count means 30 seconds of count. Buzzer is on. Engine is off. It is giving 30 seconds. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. Like that the it will goes on for the zero. The person is unable to press the switch then it will track the data from the satellite and it will send the data to the these two mobile numbers first of all uh, now i am okay okay i am pressing the switch normal accident i am okay see once one part of one switch port is completed led is also off led is also off okay normal 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 okay okay L left hmm? left left right front back four one four options are there yeah it is giving are you okay press the switch 29 28 27 26 25 Yeah, seven, 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 five, four, four, three, two, one, left accident, GPRS track. Yeah, 17, 47, 28, longitude 78, 58. It is directly taking the tower signal, exact area, which which place we are. SMS sent. Yeah, I received one SMS. Ambulance received one SMS. Left accident. Back. View. Left. This is also received one SMS. Left accident. See, Amma Sami Venkat Reddy calling. It is giving the latitude and longitude which place you are. Okay.
लेफ्ट एक्सीडेंट प्रेस इट ओके मैप्स this place see my location it is okay so this is place the accident is occurred okay back back okay okay <coughs> okay now that not nothing will be happen everything is okay so now now we are going for a front accident LED on. Same process. Thirty, thirty seconds of time. In this process, if you need, if you are going to press the switch, total uh, it come back to the main loop. Engine on, buzzer off. It working process. Same process. Here I am using a GSM modem. Actually, it is SIM nine hundred. SIM nine hundred A. Okay. You can directly give the SIM card here. That's it. It will work. you can use any sim card i am enabling the internet option no need to specify the particular sim card tata docomo idea airtel no need give me www.internet.com that's it it will enable any sim card internet it is it is a good uh thanking you it will come back left agent left agent right agent front agent back agent same location same map and everything will be same if you are keeping this any area that must and should we required a tower signal here sim card tower signal is the mandatory if the tower signal is present no need to worry it will take the data from the tower from the satellite signals and it will give you the exact latitude longitude it it should be some plus or minus 5 and 10 percent but the latitude longitude position for the student orient part purpose it it should be good no need to purchase the gps models thanking you anything else uh, let me know to svs embedded